people love it. It's very simple. It's uh, cozy. And this bubble may just help save Elaine Chevreau's restaurant. Café du Soleil on the Upper West Side is one of thousands of New York City restaurants struggling to stay afloat due to the COVID-19 pandemic. I may order the first bubble in July as a tryout because I was uh, already thinking about the, you know, the fall weather. Now he has 16. The bubble blocks out the rain, wind and cold. I would assume that mid 40s will be the coldest that we can have uh, those bubble and people feel comfortable with. Once inside the bubble, diners have the option of keeping one or both sides open or closed. The restaurant is also offering blankets to keep customers warm. It's helpful that a cleaners is right next door. Barbara and Alfred McAdams say they also like that they're protected from other people's germs. It also helps the restaurant uh, bring more people in because you're enclosed and therefore protected. So while Cafe du Soleil has a plan in place to supplement indoor dining, many city restaurants do not. Indoor dining at 25% capacity begins September 30th. And according to Andrew Ridgey of the New York City Hospitality Alliance, the city still has not given restaurants guidance on heat lamps. We've been really pushing the city saying these small business owners need an opportunity to plan. Are you going to allow propane, which they can't currently use? Can they use electric? Riggi says he hopes the state will eventually allow New York City restaurants to increase indoor dining to 50% capacity. But until that happens, restaurants are doing the best they can. Now, people are so much aware about those bubbles that when they make a reservation, actually, they said, can we have a bubble? I said, of course you can have a bubble. On the Upper West Side, Allison Caden picks 11 News.